Uh, a little commotion for the scrubs because they are cute AF. You know, if someone has AirPods in their ear, it just says, don't talk to me, you know? Are we having a date over FaceTime? Good morning friends and welcome back to another vlog. If you're wondering why I actually don't look that crusty, it's because homegirl got her full eight hours of sleep. Today we're going into work for an admin day so we actually don't have to be there until a little bit later. These don't happen very frequently, usually only once every half a year or so. First thing I do when I wake up on work days is check the door. Usually Kevin and I will leave notes for each other. I know this is kind of gross but not gonna lie, a lot of the times I wake up so late before 12 our shift because you barely get any sleep before or in between the shifts so it's hard to like comb your hair make sure you brush your teeth wash your face i'm literally doing the bare minimum before i go to work but today we're gonna take our sweet time and i don't know just really take care of ourselves these clock clips are my favorite they are so easy to use and they don't damage your hair and best of all, they come off of Amazon in our cheap AF. Starting off with watching our face, we're starting with a CeraVe Hydrating Facial Cleanser per Charlie D'Amelio's recommendations. And then I gently, or maybe not so gently, pat my face dry with this big ass towel. I don't know about you guys, but I don't have those little towels in the bathroom, so I just straight up use my bath towel. You know, less is more. I recently got these little towels to kind of clean up the countertops after I use them, and they have been life-changing. I don't know how I didn't know this before okay i changed my outfit we've got a little crop top and i think these are actually yeah these are also ucla shorts i like to pretend i'm still in college even though i'm like three years out now so today i am going in for an admin shift and also seeing some um, appointments and follow-ups and things like that oh my god most traumatizing sound on earth my first patient is at noon currently it's 8 30 so as you guys can see i have a little bit of leeway i'm gonna clean up the house a little bit Kevy got me some flowers yesterday. They are so pretty. We don't have a vase at this apartment yet, so we're currently using a random water cup. Still absolutely obsessed with our dishwasher magnet. This makes life so much easier. And yes, in case you're wondering, we do use our dishwasher, which I always like pre-wash my dishes and then run them in the dishwasher. I think it's like a trust issue kind of thing. I think I may or may not be turning into a grandma because recently I've really found so much joy in the simple pleasures in life, like washing dishes, vacuuming the house. And if you know me from even a year ago, I would never say something like that. I feel like these tasks are just things I can do on autopilot while I wait for my brain to wake up in the mornings. This vacuum is honestly pretty cool. It works wonders. It's got a bunch of attachments. I need to actually throw this box away. I've been keeping it for some time, but um, we got the Roborock H7, which is the new vacuum that got released. And oh my gosh, it's so life-changing. This whole past year, we've only had the handheld vacuum and it's just been difficult. There's a bunch of different attachments you can use. It's super easy to... Ooh, attach a new attachment, um, change the settings if you wanna change the speed, pretty cool stuff. Like I will take this, detach like this and take it to my car and just dust everything off and then I don't have to pay for the vacuuming service. I'll actually leave this link down below if you wanna check it out. Not sponsored, but pretty cool stuff. So highly recommend getting one if you don't already have one. I'm gonna actually unbox all these new scrubs with you guys. This is in the color hydrogen and it's in the high-waisted. I also have a matching scrub cap, so that's definitely what I'm wearing today. I have found it to be so much easier to be healthier ever since we moved to this new apartment. The kitchen is way more accessible, it's easier to use, and there's just more sunlight in the day. The temperature is warmer, so it's also easier to make healthier choices. I recently got a Vitamix, but it's one of the discounted ones on Amazon. I like to add a bunch of spinach in it because you really can't taste it, and it helps you get your greens in. If you've been following the channel for a while, then you know Homegirl has some GI issues, and you know, this just kind of keeps everything moving. I didn't even bother to Film this because I was so upset as you can see from my facial expression here but I actually ended up spilling that first smoothie all over the ground because my camera fell over and my mic fell into the smoothie okay so I picked up a couple of packages I did get some stuff from Shein they're a bunch of like summer dresses so I'm hoping they turn out really really cute 
it's crazy how even putting on a little bit of makeup really sets you in a better mood, makes you feel more confident to tackle on your day. Honestly, being in your 20s is such a delicate and interesting time. I feel like I've spent so much time despising certain things about appearance or complaining about certain things. And now I'm just finally accepting that some things will never change and I have to love myself the way I am. Wow, this is getting really deep really fast. Okay, clearly homegirl has way too much time on her hands because now she is gonna do her hair. I do have the Dyson Airwrap and it is so life-changing because it is extremely easy to use. I'm someone who's really lazy and so I don't typically like curling my hair because it's so much activation energy. I also feel like it keeps my hair healthy and doesn't damage it as much. Shoes are on. Here's the full fit. I think it looks pretty darn cute. Let's take a very delicious meal that I eat every day from Trader Joe's. My water bottle. That might be a good idea. Ready? Okay, let's go to work. I think there's like really only a couple things that you need to know about me, including the fact that I love peanut butter and the fact that I'm an absolutely horrible parker. So I'm a little bit nervous because usually I get there so early that there's like no one in the parking lot and I can park wherever I want. This, however, we'll see. We'll cross our fingers. Maybe we'll have good luck. Guess who found a spot? <laughs> so I just walked into work. Um, the beautiful scheduler has left me a bunch of things to do. So I have um, a patient's uh, refill request I need to handle today. And then also some competency checklists to fill out for some of my coworkers. User test. A little sheet that we will add on in a little bit. One of my patients ended up showing up way, way earlier, um, but it's fine. I took out some stitches for her, so there's a bunch of stuff here. I'm just gonna get it cleaned up and then get the room ready for the next one. About to write the note for that patient. It was a pretty quick appointment, probably like five, ten minutes or so. I would totally take this scrub cap off, but my hair looks like a hot mess. Okay, guys, ready to see this crazy hair? No, it's so flat. Okay, I've got to get changed and just get out of these scrubs and then I'll probably go for a run because the weather is so good. Here is the gym fit. It's not that exciting. I literally have not been to the gym since pre-Hawaii days, so I really probably should go. Instead of showering twice, sometimes I just like to go after my shift so then I can just shower once. Okay, I've got AirPods. Don't talk to me. You know, if someone has AirPods in their ears, it just says, don't talk to me, you know? Now, now we gotta clean this, take off our makeup, and shower. Bestie is on call. It's actually his first call shift for 2020. One, he's an R2 now. So now he gets to be on call and it kind of sucks. Okay, dinner time. So I think I'm actually definitely deserves the ice cream. So I'm gonna have some ice cream at some point, but I'll probably start with the salad. I kind of want to make salmon, but I'm gonna start with the salad first. It's actually so crazy. I feel like I've been pretty active recently just because I've had friends over and I've just kind of been outside with the weather being better. Oh my god, I really have to burp. Just with being outside and like people 
being over like I've just been doing more activities and so in general I've just been healthier and like weight has kind of been falling off unintentionally I guess the weather just really has such a huge effect on you living in California I feel like I was so spoiled like I never even thought about having good weather because now it's like something that I deeply appreciate are you having a day over FaceTime where I eat my green tea ice cream and you eat your pasta. I don't really have much else to do tonight, so I'm just gonna try on these cute summer dresses that I got from Shein. This is my first order from them, so I just don't know what to expect. Here's the first one, she's definitely cute. Here's something different underneath, but it's pretty cute. There are like a ton of strings in the back I'm supposed to tie up, but I'm gonna just leave it be. Oh my gosh, I'm honestly just so impressed. I would wear this all the time. Kind of cute, totally the vibe. It's like very flowy. I like it when like the tummy isn't restricting so I can eat whatever I want. Pretty cute. She's a little wrinkly because she's straight out of the package. Probably cute for this, I don't really know. This one I think is a little bit too boxy. I think this one's a no-go. Okay, this one feels like styrofoam. It looks cheap. It feels cheap. Yeah, this one's definitely a no-go. Before I hop off this vlog, if you didn't watch anything in this video and if you skip through it, please don't skip this part because I have something really important to tell you guys. I am very grateful and thankful for each and every one of you who's ever clicked on a video, watched my content on YouTube, on TikTok, on Instagram. There are days like this where I seriously feel like my life is so unreal that I have so many internet friends and people who are looking out for me. To be creating videos is something that has always been a dream of mine and the fact that I actually get to do it um, and make so many friends out of this is so special and so meaningful to me. So I'm really grateful to each and every one of you guys. It's because of you guys that I have the life that I have now, that I have the opportunities that I get to have now. If you're scared of taking the leap of doing something that you love, that you care about, seriously do it. Seriously, life is way too short for you to worry about other people's opinions or what they think. I am truthfully planning some big changes that are going to be happening in my life. As soon as I have a better idea of exactly where I'm headed, I'd love to share that with you guys. Right now, she's just in the research phase. Thank you guys so much for tagging along today. If you don't already follow me on my socials, I post stories every single day. She also got verified on Snapchat and so is Kev. He's also verified. So go follow us on Snap for them updates. I'll see you guys next week. Don't forget your 10 out of 10. Don't let anyone ever make you feel otherwise. Bye!